Open your QGIS for desktop, click Add Vector Layer, go to Browse, and browse to your LV Country shapefile, and click Open. Right click on LV Countries, go up to Style, and then go to Simple Fill, and then under Fill, go to Transparent. The border can stay black, but we're going to increase the border width to be a little bit thicker. Click OK. Go to Add Raster Data and add your land surface temperature file for Lake Victoria. Zoom into the lake area. Right click on your LV Countries layer and go to Properties. And then go to Labels and click Label this layer with and use the drop down to go to Name and click OK and that'll give you the country names. Move the raster layer down so that the LV Countries is layer is on top. Right click your raster layer and go to Save As. We're going to save it as a GeoTIFF. So click Browse and then name it LST2012 underscore 12 and click Save. And then click Map View Extent and click OK. Now add that raster layer you just made and remove the first raster layer that you added. Click OK. Right click on the new raster layer and go to Properties. Under Render Type, go to Single Band Pseudo Color and then click Classify. And then we're going to change the color ramp to red to green and click Classify again so that it updates and then click the invert button so it goes green to red and then click classify and then close. So you can see it's changed the raster to go from red to green to show the temperature gradients where red is the hotter temperatures. Go up to plugins, manage and install plugins, and type zonal and click Zonal Statistics Plugin. And then click Install Plugin if you don't already have it, like I do. Click Close. Go up to Raster and then go down to Zonal Statistics and over to Zonal Statistics. The inputs for this tool are going to be your raster layer that shows the surface temperature and your polygon layer that's the Lake Victoria countries. The tool is going to calculate the average temperature in each of the polygons, so the average temperature of the lake for each country. In the output column prefix, write temp and click OK. Right click on your LV countries layer and go up to open attribute table. And if you scroll all the way over to the end of the columns, you'll see a temp mean column, and that's what was just calculated from the zonal statistics. So the mean temperature for each country. Turn off your raster layer so it's not showing. Right click on LV countries and go to properties. Go up to style. Go over to where it says single symbol and go down to graduated. Then under column, use the drop down and go to temp mean, and then click change next to symbol. Oh, click, never mind. Click classify. And then click OK. So that made the countries colored based on the mean temperature that we calculated with zonal statistics. And then right click on the layer and go to zoom to layer, just so you can see the full extent of the countries. Right click and go to properties again and make it three classes instead of five. Click classify and then change the color ramp 
to green to blue or orange to red and then click OK. Right click and go to properties again. Go over to classes and make it four classes and then under mode change it to natural breaks jenks and click apply. Then click OK. Right click and go to properties. And under mode go to standard deviation. Click apply. And then click OK. Right click again and go to properties. And then go over to label. And under label this layer with, use the drop down and go to temp mean. And then click OK. So now this map shows the mean temperature for each country and the color is the standard deviation.